Yo, what's going on guys? This is the gym vlog number, I think, eight or nine. I'm a little bit stuffed up right now because uh, all the pollen's coming into where I live. I live in Auburn, Alabama, so the allergies are definitely kicking in now that fall is about to start. But also, side note, for one, I need to get a haircut. My hair is way too long. I'm tired of wearing a hat all the damn time. I keep procrastinating. I need to stop doing that because it's honestly just getting in the way. And I've worn a hat every single day for the last, like, honestly, freaking three and four months. It's been way too long. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually pretty excited to start wearing my hair naturally again. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. We're out just kind of walking around. I finished my breakfast about like 30 minutes ago. Just finished my walk. I've just been hanging out outside this last like few minutes. But yeah, it's fun. We're using the vlog stick now too. So I'll actually be able to have high quality vlogs. I'm not sure if it's going to be like shaking whenever I'm walking or not. It feels like it is right now. It's kind of smooth and steady, which is a lot more preferred. So definitely going to be using this. Probably going to take it to the gym today. Going to be hitting a chest day. I'm not sure if you guys can hear all the birds and things going up in the trees. But yeah, definitely relax. Just finished meditating and yeah, eating my breakfast. Recently, I actually changed up my breakfast because I had, or I used to have five eggs, three pieces of toast and two pieces of bacon. But recently I changed that because I had way too much sodium. I was putting a lot of slappy mama in it as well as a bunch of just salt in general. So I was having like over 1,500 milligrams of sodium in one meal, which is definitely just not that great for you. So <laughs> I had French toast today where I had just like a bunch of eggs with cinnamon and uh, vanilla extract and Splenda. Dipped some bread into it, meal prepped it yesterday. Tasted amazing today. It was the same amount of calories as I normally have, but with like 1,500 milligrams less sodium. So it's definitely a lot better. I'm definitely excited for that. I already feel like way less bloated and way less watery. So hopefully my face will hold a lot less water. I feel like it already looks a little bit thinner. Maybe this is the old quarantine though. I don't really know for sure. But yeah, I'm excited to hit this chest day later. I'll be meeting up with Bella eventually, probably in the next clip or the one after that. This is gonna be a fun vlog. I'm trying to show more of my personality through the actual like recording process, rather than doing the same old vlog every single time where I show the gym workout and all that. Gonna be trying to hit 235, no, not 235, either 225 or 215 for either 225 for three or 215 for like six or seven. Honestly, it just depends on how I'm feeling. My arm's slowly starting to give out, so that's just my left hand. Definitely not used to vlogging, but I'm gonna try and start doing two vlogs a week but yeah that's the little update video or quick little update to the start of the video and yeah see you guys in the next clip i can't even lie man I feel like my physique looks pretty damn good right now. I mean, whenever my chest was hitting the sunlight, I felt like pretty aesthetic, not gonna lie. I tried taking a back pose, but it looked pretty shitty. <laughs> so, cause my back wasn't actually in the sunlight, it was in the shadow, so it looked pretty awful. Not gonna include that, but I hope you guys enjoy that little transition. But yeah, as of right now, I feel like my physique is looking pretty damn good. Like I'm not trying to cut or anything, I'm not trying to look lean, but I feel like as I grow more and more with the old quarantine, I just keep growing leaner and leaner. But like, I'm still getting bigger. I'm still adding weight. It's so weird. I don't really know how to describe it. Maybe the testosterone is working as well. All I know is I'm loving the way my physique is looking right now. And I'm excited for this chest day. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I feel pretty gigantic right now. But the problem with though, with like bodybuilding though, is like how important lighting actually is. Cause I'll do like that pose I just did in the sunlight and it'll make my arms not like that great. Like it'll show a little bit of vascularity, but it'll make my chest look great cause my chest is showing in the sunlight but everything else won't really look that great. So it kind of sucks how important it really is to look good compared to other people or look good just for your audience in general. It kind of sucks. Even like just certain things with like your face, like your face will look so much better when you're holding it like up like this rather than like down like this. It really is just like a big difference. And yeah, people need to realize that because I see so many people like judging somebody else based on like one or two Instagram posts if they look worse than normal just because like it's bad lighting or they don't have a pump or they had a big meal like a big cheat meal like all these things can make a massive difference and i'm tired of people judging way too quickly or think that someone like lost themselves because they had one cheat meal or took one bad picture and decided to post it or that it didn't fit your standards yeah just a little quick rant for you guys <laughs> it's show you how weird this man is <laughs> 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 You guys are witnessing greatness right now. Her first bulk. She's been doing it for about three weeks now. 
because you had the butter on the toast for like way extra calories, like over 150 more. With that, plus some more she's gonna have. She's eating around 2,400 calories a day, gaining about one pound a week, trying to really just like bulk up and get fat, but it's all good. Yeah, it's his uh, scheme just to get me fat and then he'll like break up with me. Yeah, that's my way of breaking your heart. <laughs> He's like really sweet. I'm so sweet. Doing my NASNOMs, my fucking not NASNOM, <laughs> my NASM NASM CPT certification. It's a blast. I'm like 16% done. It's a blast. You're doing good. Thanks, bro. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Just chilling right now, studying. So we're going to the gym now. Took my free workout. She took her caffeine, L carnitine, up regulating androgen receptor modulation, uh, not SARMs, L carnitine. Uses big words to confuse <laughs> you. I'm on caffeine. I feel good. I took gorilla mode. Uh, we're gonna have a good workout. Feeling good. I feel a little bit high for some reason because I'm not taking anything that messes with my psychoactivity in the brain. But I feel good. The neurogenesis is firing. Uh, the photosynthesis of all of my muscles are connecting, interrelating. I feel fucking good. Let's don't crash. We're gonna hit some PRs today. God, why do I have this big ass red bump on my nose? Bro, please focus on that. I, I look like a Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. She's gonna hit 95 for about yeah, what? Just gonna do 90. She's gonna do 90 for like 10 reps. Probably more like five or six. I'm not sure how good I'm feeling today. I feel fine like mentally and physically, but you never know how that weight's gonna actually feel up under your body when you're pressing it. And I'm trying to correct my form to where I don't sink into my chest like I was beforehand. So I had to lower the weight from 235 all the way back until 205. But yeah, oh, we just got the green light. Oh, it's perfect. It's a perfect day. We're hitting some PRs. It's gonna feel phenomenal. I feel so extrinsically and intrinsically motivated right now. All kinds of motivations firing. The neurons are firing. I feel good. Don't you feel good? I feel great. She's not on the same level as me. This I'm just sucks. thinking. I'm just thinking. She's visualizing her hitting 90 for 10 reps. No, Isn't I that like right? literally was. <laughs> exactly. Visualization is important for everything in life, especially hitting big ass weights. You gotta make your central, your central nervous system prepared to hit some heavy ass weight. I mean, now my arm's hurting, so I don't want to fatigue myself before the gym, so I'll see you guys there. From holding your phone up? <laughs> oh, that's real it tiring, it, it, isn't kinda, it? it actually kind of hurts, but yeah. Right, we're in the gym now. It's a little bit loud, it's a bit crowded. More crowded than it usually is on a Sunday. I'm going to record my last warm-up set before I hit my working set. There's a guy that thing over there, so it's kind of loud. But yeah, we're excited. We always decide to play music so loudly when I'm in here. Now we're hitting Pack Deck Flies. I'm not gonna record the whole workout. I'm trying to make this one a little bit different. She hit 90 for, what, seven or eight? Seven. Seven, then 90 for five again. I had 215 for five, then 215 for four. Felt real nice, but yeah. Screwing it up. This is a 
back home both had a good workout and she's eating her post-workout pop tarts not the greatest alternative not full of added sugars that are full of dextrose which is the fastest acting simple sugar that i have personally 27 gummy bears slowly add one per week during the mesocycle i still have the red nose like reindeer thing it's kind of annoying but these are the supplements i take post-workout it's l-theanine copper uh terkesterone and ectosterone and yeah that's basically it so I'll take post-workout to help the caffeine crash and help. Oh yeah, and lion's mane, lion's mane. I used to take something called Bacopa Monieri, but why are you staring at me like that? Laser. I used to take something called Bacopa Monieri, but it actually made me way more lethargic and it gave me good memory. Like I was able to have a way better memory, but it screwed up my like energy levels and I'd wake up feeling tired all the time. So it was not fun at all. But yeah, I'm gonna make, eat the rest of this real quick. And then I'm gonna make my protein ice cream. I'm gonna record that for you guys. Do that, then we're going to Walmart after. It's going to be a fun little adventure. I'm going back to her place, back to her parents' place, to get a massage gun that her dad has. And to see my dog bogey. And, and He's see your, really cute. Yeah, we're going to see her dog bogey. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, we're going to Walmart after because she owes me some Core Powers, Fairlife milk, and popcorn because she always steals my food. And yeah, let me know if you guys think this quality or this vlog is a lot better quality because I feel like it is. Using the vlog stick makes it way more enjoyable to vlog. I feel like it's just easier overall and makes it, you know, just better quality. I feel like just better overall. I feel so good. This is the best vlog yet, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? But yeah, I'm trying to not record the entire workout. I try to record just like one or two things. Most important things for me. We went up on bench press. I still went up one rep. I wanted to go up two, but I still went up one, so it's okay. But yeah, I'm going to try and post two vlogs a week. Let me know if you guys enjoy this one. I feel like this is definitely my best quality one. Hopefully within the next vlog or maybe the one after this one, I'll have a haircut. Cause right now I look like an emo boy. <laughs> it's really long. Ugh, it's like really long and doesn't feel good. It's like greasy and sweaty. Does not look good at all. Made the protein ice cream. Did five tablespoons of PB Fit, <clears throat> one teaspoon of guar gum, uh, one tablespoon of cocoa, six packets of Splenda, or seven. <clears throat> Got something in my throat. Didn't feel that great. <laughs> what do you have to say? Damn, I look ugly as fuck right now. Yes, you do. I'm just joking. You look beautiful. Aww. Aww. Me being nice for once. But I think, yeah, Guar Gum, PB Fit, Cocoa, Ice, and a Core Power from Walmart. Total is out to like 40, like 2 grams of protein or 40. And then you just use a scoop or use a spoon and dump some PB Fit like into this while you're eating it. And it makes it thicker and tastes more like peanut buttery. And it tastes amazing. And I think it's only like 350 calories, if I'm correct. Might be a little bit more, might be closer to 400. But yeah, I'm bulking right now, so or bulking, so to speak. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm kind of brain dead, a little bit fried, a little bit tired. My central nervous system definitely took a tax of a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to Walmart. Going to her house first to see her dog and get her uh, dad's muscle massager. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this vlog, showing more of the personality. It's a little bit dark right now, but you guys can still see pretty well. I would turn the lights on, but that's illegal. Is it illegal? I've actually I heard... don't know. My parents always told me that. Yeah, my parents told me that too, but I'm pretty sure it's not illegal. I think they just say that because you look like a moron driving with your lights on. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're kind of tired now. We had a good workout. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed because I feel like this one was probably the best one by far. Showing our personalities and just not the same old, like, reused vlog over and over again. So yeah, see you guys at Walmart. Or no, see you, uh, see you guys at her place first <laughs> with Bogey. Keep fucking stuttering because I'm so brain dead. But yeah. All right, so now we're in a really, really ghetto Walmart. It's kind of terrifying. Yeah, I came here the other day. Some guy was like, I came here with my friend. And he was like, what's up, ladies? And I was like. It's a bit strange. But yeah, we're going to get some Fairlife milk and core power. She owes me. She drinks a lot of mine. So yeah, it's a bit scary. It's kind of like a Venmo's at B-Pass. It's kind of like, yeah, Venmo's D-Pass 07. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit uh, scary right now. We're vlogging past everybody. That old lady just looked at me strangely. But yeah, it's kind of like a scary movie right now. 
You guys see a lot uh, a certain dominance. Nothing compares to the Walmart we were in in um, oh Mississippi. In Mississippi, bro. Yeah. Oh my God, we were there and it was like it was so weird. It felt like we were like dissociating from life because it was so strange. Yeah, we so almost bad. like the camera's got probably really bouncing bad a lot. That night too. Oh, yeah, we like drifted on oncoming traffic <laughs> while it was raining super hard. Oh my god, that's a story for a different time. Jason's but, just a shit driver. I'm a good driver. It's probably bouncing a lot too on the camera, so I'm sorry guys. 